Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the Droid Goblin. Today I'll be featuring the top 5 list or note making apps for Android, so let us begin. Simple Note by Automatic strips away all the fluff providing you with a somewhat upgraded text editor. Like I thought Google Keep was keeping it simple, then Simple Note came along. There's no luxuries like voice notes or even images, but then again, what if you never used these features like that in the first place? What if you just wanted to write down your favorite Wes Anderson films to save for a rainy day, or you were going shopping and you just needed a list, not the entire menu? You can pin important notes so that they stay on top and add tags to help sort them out too. Oh, and there's a desktop app as well, which makes it handy when your phone is not by your side. Simple Note is as clean as it gets while still giving you the basics and is perfect if you're looking for a no-nonsense, no-taking app. Next up we have OneNote by Microsoft. Now when I first heard about this coming to Android I wasn't too thrilled, however I was pleasantly surprised when I saw all of its rich features that came with the app. OneNote packs quite a few punches compared to the other apps out there and does so in all calming purple hues. My favorite feature would have to be the ability to save workbooks and then separate your notes within each of these workbooks using sections. It's basically Noteception. The ability to add lists, images and then pen drawings all in one note is super handy too, especially if you're constantly having erratic ideas. OneNote steps away from the standard note apps out there and would be more useful for stylus users, as shown with the ability to add grid lines in your notes. Remember that this is a Microsoft product, so essentially the desktop app is slightly better, but synchronizing the two is a seamless affair. OneNote is powerful, simple, and is great if you're looking for the above average note-taking app. Google Keep by Google. Some say they might know this app, but for the others who don't know, Google's attempt at providing users with the most powerful yet simple note-taking app is amazing. Call it fanboyism or just simply being lazy, but I always find myself coming back to Keep. Now I know it doesn't come with all the features that some note taking apps will come with but it still has come an extremely long way. Create a list, a voice note, add an image or even a reminder, Keep makes taking notes a breeze and the added color doesn't hurt either. I'll often find myself having a one word note and Keep will make sure that this is the first thing you see the very next day. It also might not be as structured as the rest with the ability to only choose one or two columns but so what you can always search for something if it's that important and the new update is simply amazing. Keep is all about speed and simplicity unlike Evernote where you can sort an item into 50 different categories Keep focuses on a user interface for quick notes to be read later and to me that is generally the most important. Next up we have Fetch Notes, very very similar in design to Simple Notes, however what it lacks in some features it really makes up for it in others. Unlike Simple Note, you can't pin important notes, however you can add people. So if you need to find all the notes that included a work colleague or a family member, maybe lean towards Fetch Notes. The app is incredibly fast and clean too, leaving you with a minimal design to keep you focused on the task at hand. Notes are timestamped too and the notes also have the ability to be archived in case you need to refer to them later. Finally, a search bar sits right at the top helping you easily find a note that you might have posted a while back. Again like Simple Note, Fetch Notes is for the note enthusiast, one is not worried about fancy looks or extra features that you might never need. And lastly, still the number one note taking app of all time, it's Evernote. I know it sounds cliche but you simply cannot go wrong with this app if you're looking for anything from simple lists to in-depth notes for any occasion. There's actually not much that Evernote doesn't come with. Along with its super impressive material design updates, you now have the option to add in camera pics, attachments, work chats, reminders and handwriting all to a simple note that can be indexed in many different ways. You have notebooks to store different kinds of notes, include special tags. And don't even get me started on the premium features which include offline notebooks, passcodes and increased upload limit per month as well as many many features. Evernote has it all. Some people might find it a bit too daunting at times but once you get the hang of it Evernote might just be the last note taking app you'll ever use. Great so thanks everyone for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a thumbs up I'd also love to know what is your favorite uh, note making app for Android let me know in the comment section below other than that don't forget that we are busy recruiting people both for the Droid Goblin YouTube channel as well as the online site so if you enjoy writing or speaking about anything Android related and you'd love to be part of the Droid Goblin then let us know all our details are in the description so you definitely want to go check that out other than that it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin and I'll see you next video.